I am in first person. He is in third person. You are in second person. Wait, why is this thing following me? What's happening? Can we roll an expositional monologue? Second person is probably one of the least understood point of views. Right behind people that think Mr. Beast is evil. This is the you perspective. You are walking your dog. You never take out the trash. You can't consistently post YouTube videos despite telling yourself you'll be better next time. <laughs> it's just an example. It's Really not a big deal to worry about. I'll be surviving like this for the next 50 hours. Let's get it. On hour one, I met up with my friend Lewis. I'm pretty much in tutorial mode right now. Task number one is simple. I'm gonna walk a mile in second person. We're just gonna make sure I can I can actually function in this thing. Okay, a little bit of a training mode. I'm filming with a 360 camera, which means theoretically, I should be able to just cut to Lewis. <laughs> Lewis is basically me in a sexier font. How's it going? I immediately got lost. <laughs> Sorry. Lewis? So then I convinced Lewis to help me walk around, and then I realized... This is actually super easy. Well, I'm honestly really impressed. I thought this was gonna go way worse for you. I'm still learning controls. Howdy. Hi. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> ah. Just taking a quick break. This lifestyle feels very self-centered. <laughs> Lewis, you still here? Lewis? Hour three. Where else did you expect me to be? Let's be honest. Where is this, uh, where's the kiosk? Oh, oh, this is easy. So I'm gonna be ordering a quick coffee and meal here at McDonald's. Believe it or not, I can see the screen right now. A little higher. Little higher? Boom. Lewis, I need your help. <sighs> I'm looking for a large vanilla iced coffee. L large XL. Can you take the pickles off the chicken sandwich? You're a little picky, aren't you? Huh? I could not figure out how to pay from second person point of view. So I just decided to order at the counter. I love your smile. And then I sat down with Lewis. Lewis, I'm just gonna tell them about the backstory. Basically, if you don't know, a year and a half ago, I survived 50 hours in third person with Lewis. He built the rig, and a year and a half later, I said, Lewis, I'm gonna make my own rig, and this time I'm gonna live in second person. <laughs> Did, didn't I say that? Lewis? Is that the chicken sandwich? Yes. Oh, that's me. Cheers. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. What's up? Your order came. Yeah, I, I was talking to you for like five minutes. <laughs> oh. Just like old times, watch this. <laughs> mm. You're not even close to the hole. Oh, it's so good. I could actually see that TV like extremely well. Kind of entertaining. And then I absolutely demolished some chicken sandwiches, which led to, uh, I don't feel so good. Look at that Photoshop. That's some editing right there, huh? Hour seven. I'm gonna go see if I can get a stranger to throw me the ball or vice versa. <laughs> I love this big park because I feel like I'm just safe. I'm not going to hurt anyone. I'm not going to hurt myself. I'm here with Jack. Jack, I'm going to run a post route. Okay. I'm going to catch it over the shoulder. Okay. Over no look. No look. All right. Oh, <laughs> that's me. Who wants it? Who wants the ball? Then I met some more friends and decided to give this whole football thing one last try, which was a huge mistake. Ow! <laughs> That happened to me in the last time I filmed a video like this. I don't understand. How does this keep happening? Hour 10, I found myself walking to a date at a nice steakhouse with my wife. All right, I found my wife. <laughs> what do you think about this? Very good. Guys, we made it to a fancy restaurant. <laughs> Haley, how you doing? They have roasted mashed potatoes. That sounds like a date. <laughs> this is the most accommodating restaurant I've ever been to. This restaurant did a lot of things. They walked me to my table, they pulled out and pushed in my chair, and showed me where everything was. The one thing they didn't do is ask what the heck was going on. <laughs> Haley, what's the next best thing of being the first person on the moon? What? Being the second person. Haley? I'm gonna take a look at the menu. I really only know one way to do that right now. Yeah, so I read the menu like this. It's actually highly effective. Haley, do I look strange? That's why she loves me. <laughs> Haley, I just love that we can have our alone time, you know? Then why am I here? Lewis has been here the whole time. Talk about a juicy steak. I took a really big bite. I don't know if I've ever taken a bite that big before. Mm. I had a great time. What a treat. <laughs> I made it to a hotel. Lewis is here. I'm actually more efficient at just backing in nowadays. I awkwardly made it past the front desk and then I stumbled across my next challenge, an elevator. Yeah, there it is. I backed into it and helped Lewis pick the floor. I said goodnight to me in a sexier font and found myself- Oh wait, where's my room? Lost, as usual. We made it. First things first, 
a room tour, the bed, the coffee bar, the bathroom, the sink. I think it's time for an existential monologue. Only seeing myself in life is becoming a hazard. You saw me at McDonald's. I might have come up with an idea. And this idea sound, it might sound a little crazy, okay? At first glance. Okay, it's not glance. At first here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so silly. So here is my idea. I was in the bathroom over there a second ago. I was looking in the mirror and I saw something that I haven't seen in a long time. Actually, not sure I've ever seen the back of my head. <laughs> Look, I'm not doing this challenge alone. I have me in a sexier font right down the hall. Not only sexier, but smarter. Picture this, you're driving a car. What do you do when you want to look behind you? Rear view mirrors, boom, bang, pow. How many more onomatopoeias do I have? I don't know, that one wasn't really useful. Imagine Lewis built me a contraption that allowed me to have rear view mirrors behind my head, effectively allowing me to see forward. How crazy would that be? Seeing forward and backward, that's practically omnipotent. That's my goal for tomorrow. I want to be able to walk with some confidence, dang it. I want to be able to ride a bike, and I want to buy a fun drink, all without the help of Lewis. Good morning. Ayo, hey, morning routine. First things first, I get the cobwebs out of the ceiling corners of the bathroom. Next, I spend 10 minutes getting a decent shot of the coffee machine. Make that two. Make that three. I didn't even drink it. Next, I go for a hot boy walk. I'm in my training arc. And then I get some more intense exercise. I'm getting sick. This is fitness. Can I ask you something, Lewis? Yeah. Can you, like, build me something to where I can just have a mirror behind me? Yeah, what's the problem? You, like, you want to be able to see? I like this. Lewis is literally out there right now trying to save me. Okay, so the deal is I need some kind of, basically, a platform to mount on Ryan's back. I need a couple of poles or rods or something to sort of support a set of mirrors. And then I need to find mirrors that are kind of the right shape and size that I can mount them easily to something else. I feel like Fiona's stuck in a castle right now, except instead of Prince Charming, it's a STEM student from Ohio. It still feels like a fairy tale to me. I know how to navigate around this room now, so that's good. Watch this, coffee machine right here. Right there, just a little bit off. Oh, I just started feeling sick. This would be so cool. Imagine I could just walk with that. Okay, honest question, how many fingers am I holding up? Is it four or eight? I don't know. I found my my Shrek, if you will. <laughs> I'm gonna open my eyes in three, two, one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna cry. Dude, I feel like Logan Paul when he put on those colorblind glasses. <laughs> That's so sad. Lewis helped me put on my add-on to my rig and I was ready to ride. You previously knew me as Ryan. Allow me to introduce you to Ryan 2. We did some dancing to celebrate. I was pretty excited about that. Hold up your fingers in a, n a certain number. <laughs> Two! Two! <Yeah! laughs> I'm gonna go pick up the bike. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there you go. Okay. You got it. I literally just picked that up with confidence. Here we go. Oh, look at this! I feel amazing! That's a fence! Oh gosh, seriously? It doesn't give me all the, all the vision I need, but. Can I just say this for this entire challenge? I might have been surviving, but this is the first time I will have truly lived. I think it's time for a fun drink. On hour 36, I walked to go get fun drinks. I walked in this gas station and looked around. All right. This 360 view is kind of handy sometimes. I thought I had a hard time picking fun drinks before. Look at all these selections in my peripheral vision. You want anything? Grab me a uh, San Pellegrino from a pop. Sure, yeah, thanks. Give myself a Fanta. Perfect. What's better than this? We got checked out and I got laughed at a little <laughs> bit. I love you, see ya. But dang it, the one thing that I do know, and you can turn that sentimental music up a little bit, mm-hmm, thank you, is that I finally found my second person. I'm just kidding, I'm already married. I am taken. Lewis cut the back off my rig because it was digging into my flesh. It was fun while it lasted, it, it really was. I'm back to Ryan 1. <laughs> This flagpole is great. <laughs> the 360 degree vision was fun while it lasted, I gotta say. But I have more things up my sleeve. I'm like the CEO of fun. I ordered a cheese pizza. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Pepe? I must have said, this is the first time I've seen you back the door like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You're good. All right, cheers, brother. Have a good one. All right. <laughs> he was a good sport.
I didn't even get a chance to see his face. Let's see what we got here. Maybe. <laughs> Ayo, dinner hall. <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> that, that was so embarrassing. You know, come here. I need some intimacy. I'm just gonna f do selfie video. I'm struggling to sit down. There we go. The past couple of days have been exciting. They've been nauseating. They've been mildly anxiety inducing. But the coolest thing about looking at only yourself for 40 hours straight, boy, have I figured out my imperfections. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go watch the sunrise. <laughs> Well, I don't think there's gonna be a sunrise because it's it's cloudy. But you know what? I'm finishing where I started. So yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna do a countdown. And I'm gonna look at this city with my own two eyes for the first time in like two days. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Oh, that's nice. I'm never looking at myself ever again. <laughs>